following below here and he found something. I don't know what he found. What happened, buddy? What did you find? Hopefully it's not a snake. I killed some snakes here. What did you find? This place is going to be landscaped this week. Our hands. Now, can you tell, can you believe this little dog? I mean, this little guy has terminal cancer. They gave, they, he passed out three times and he, he had, um, I don't know what they call it, but the, he, he pretty much passed out like three times. He couldn't breathe. He rolled his tongues. He was blue. He could not breathe because he has a humongous, uh, cancer tumor in his, um, uh, on his heart and on his lungs all over the place and they said put him up put him under just put him to sleep he's not gonna make it and I refused to and then I I started treating his his cancer with a hundred percent organic uh, carrot juice kale juice celery and I'm pumping him with uh, all kinds of omegas um, multivitamins and also kombucha we make kombucha at home. My wife makes kombuchas. So I've been giving him kombucha on a, on a syringe. And thank God, I can't believe. I mean, that dog, he's, it's over two weeks already. He's been walking around, as you can see, chasing after cats. And he could not walk like five steps. I kid you not. His legs, there was no power in his legs. So I'm just posting this video because I want to share with you guys that if you have your, your pet that is dying with cancer or, or some kind of illness, don't give up. I mean, don't put them under unless they can even move. Because where, if he's moving and if he still can eat, there's hope. He's improving. I believe that thing is shrinking because, he, you know, as I said, he had passed out three times because the, the, the tumor is so big that he could not breathe. And uh, so, but right now he's like, he's perfectly fine he's walking far away he is playing he is happy he is not sad anymore he's just like eating uh, I've been making him um, I've been making him some uh, organic uh, brown rice food every single day with uh, I put organic chicken breast with um, what else do I do like carrots broccoli uh, asparagus and I blend it I baked it I bake it and then I blend it in the, in the blender and, and make sort of like a paste for him. And then I mix some omega oils with the rice. And I make a little balls in my hand and I feed them every morning and evening. And then I, and then I in between like three, four, five times a day, <clears throat> I give him about 20, 30 millimeters of like or, uh, juices. Everything natural, everything organic. And I just squeeze it in with a syringe into his mouth and he takes it all. Uh, I'm going to post some videos showing you how I do that. Anyways, I'm getting ready to go jogging now. And he decided to go for a walk. And I'm just amazed that that little dog wants to walk all over the place. This is a miracle that tells you what we eat. I mean, we are what we eat. I mean, he was dying because I was giving him that food. Uh, I think it's called Purina from Walmart. And that stuff is nasty. I read all kinds of reviews. Do not feed your dog or your cat with that brand. I mean, eat all those brands. I mean, do you think they're gonna really give you chicken breast for like 13 bucks for a 50 pound bag? That's not gonna happen. So organic is the way. Uh, there's a food that I would recommend that I did a lot of research. I actually used uh, before. Uh, it's called V Food. Uh, it's, it's vegetable protein based. Quinoa. Bilu, what are you doing in there, buddy? You may find a snake in there, buddy. Come on. So, anyways, that's what I would do if I were you guys. But do not give up. I mean, I was broken. My heart was so sad. I was crying. And, you know, because I love that little dog. He's going to be 14 years old in uh, September 30th. So, and there is no way I'm going to let him die. There is no way I'm going to listen to the vet and put him to sleep. Only if he's suffering, if he had a lot of pain, then I totally understand and I would do it. But, because that's the loving thing to do if they're suffering. But, 
he was doing he he was he wasn't feeling pain although he passed out three times but like I said all that was able to get reversed he couldn't walk believe me this is a miracle and you can do it too Bilu come here buddy Bilu come on smile see I'm gonna sing him a little song this little dog is a good boy Bilu this is the cashewin é um good boy Bilu Bilu good boy good boy Bilu 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 good boy shake Bilu shake hey good boy Bilu good boy don't give up okay the hens are happy they heard the testimony about Bilu. Anyways, the chickens, I'm feeding them organic also. That's like the best food you can get, the chickens. I'm not messing around with GMO or any of that stuff. And I think anyone that buys GMO for their chickens and their dogs, I don't know, something's wrong with you. Anyways, I don't mean to be, well, it, nothing is wrong with you, but the problem is that once things go wrong, like with my dog, then you're gonna say, why didn't I spend the money? Why didn't I feed my dog the best food possible? All right, okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna post another video, probably telling the same story, but uh, showing what I do and showing my, my juice and all that and all the stuff that I do. All right, this is my wife's channel, so I, I don't know if she's gonna like this video or not, but I just wanted to share that because this is just amazing. All right guys, bye.